picture this. A helicopter so massive that, at first glance, you might mistake it for a small passenger plane. Its enormous eight-bladed rotors rotate with deliberate slowness, each turn generating immense force, while its giant fuselage looms like a flying building. Park it next to any other helicopter, and suddenly those machines seem like mere toys. Yet this is not a futuristic concept or an experimental prototype. It is real. It is the Mi-26 Halo, the largest and most powerful helicopter ever mass-produced in human history. From the moment it appeared, the Mi-26 was not just another aircraft, it was a phenomenon. The world's media gave it nicknames like the Flying Crane and the Sky Giant, names that highlighted both its size and its incredible lifting capacity. International organizations, such as the United Nations, quickly realized its value, using it to deliver humanitarian aid to remote, isolated regions cut off by floods, earthquakes, or war. India harnessed it to construct vital infrastructure in the unforgiving terrain of the Himalayas, while Russia relied on it for a dual role, as both a backbone of military logistics and a reliable workhorse in civilian operations. When it debuted, the world was stunned. The idea that a helicopter could lift 20 tons of cargo seemed almost impossible, especially considering that many small fixed-wing transport planes struggled with that same load. Suddenly, missions once thought unimaginable were within reach. Across Africa, Asia, and the Middle East, the Mi-26 became a familiar sight in UN peacekeeping operations. In the West, it became a symbol of Soviet engineering genius, an aircraft far ahead of its time. Even more remarkable is the fact that, despite being designed in the 1970s, no American or European helicopter has been able to equal, let alone surpass its capabilities. Unlike other Soviet machines often associated with fear, this one inspired admiration. Its presence was not menacing, it was reassuring. More often than not, the Mi-26 was a savior rather than a destroyer. Moments that made history. The Mi-26's legacy is written into some of the most dramatic chapters of modern history. In 1986, following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, it was called upon for one of the most hazardous aerial operations ever attempted. With radiation saturating the skies, this giant was tasked with dropping massive concrete blocks, lead sheets, and other materials onto the destroyed reactor to contain the spread of deadly radiation. No other helicopter on Earth could have attempted such a mission and survived. Humanitarian missions also highlight its unmatched utility. Whether delivering food and medicine to populations stranded by floods in Africa, or transporting relief equipment into earthquake-devastated towns, the Mi-26 became synonymous with hope in disaster zones. In India, its ability to haul heavy construction equipment into the peaks of the Himalayas made it irreplaceable for building infrastructure where no road could ever reach. One of its most unforgettable moments came in Siberia. After a Boeing 737 airliner suffered damage and became stranded, the Mi-26 was called in. In a feat that seemed to defy belief, the helicopter lifted and carried the massive passenger jet through the air. The images of a 737 dangling beneath a helicopter stunned the entire world, reinforcing the Mi-26's reputation as a machine with no equal. The origins, a Cold War ambition. But how did such a machine come into being? The answer lies in the Cold War. The Soviet Union was locked in an arms and technology race with the West, constantly striving to demonstrate its superiority in every domain, including aviation. The Mi-6, introduced earlier, was already among the largest helicopters of its era, but Soviet planners wanted more. They envisioned a new design that could not only exceed the Mi-6 in size, but also perform missions once thought impossible, transporting artillery systems, armored vehicles, and even damaged helicopters. In 1977, that vision took flight. The prototype of the Mi-26 stunned even the engineers who built it. 
nearly 40 meters long, with rotors stretching 32 meters across, and a maximum takeoff weight of 56 tons, it was like nothing the world had ever seen. The Mi-26 immediately broke records, setting new standards for what helicopters could achieve. Engineering the Impossible At the heart of this monster were its engines, two Lotar FD-136 turboshafts, each producing over 11,000 horsepower. Combined, they powered the gigantic eight-blade rotor system, which became the aircraft's defining feature. This immense power allowed the Mi-26 to fly at nearly 300 kilometers per hour, cover distances of 800 kilometers, and still lift its full payload to altitudes above 4,000 meters. For aeronautical engineers, it was more than just a machine. It was a marvel that bent the rules of physics. For the pilots and crew, it was a dependable giant, capable of enduring punishing environments, from frozen tundras to blazing deserts. A cargo bay like no other. Inside, the Mi-26 boasted a cavernous cargo bay, unmatched by any other helicopter before or since. It could carry 80 fully armed soldiers in one trip. It could haul armored personnel carriers, logistics trucks, and massive containers with ease. And when the load was too large for its cabin, the Mi-26 employed an external sling system to carry oversized cargo beneath its belly. This unique capability allowed it to tow other helicopters or even haul entire aircraft, a feat that remains unmatched in aviation history. Evolution and Modernization over the decades, the Mi-26 has not remained static. Civilian variants like the Mi-26T were created for non-military use, serving in roles such as firefighting, disaster relief, and construction. The Mi-26M introduced improved engines and avionics for greater efficiency. The latest version, the Mi-26T2, is equipped with a fully digital cockpit and advanced systems, reducing the required crew from six to as few as two. These upgrades ensured that even after more than 40 years, the Mi-26 remains relevant and irreplaceable. A symbol of Soviet philosophy. But beyond its technical achievements, the Mi-26 embodies a philosophy. It reflects the Soviet approach to engineering. Build it bigger, make it stronger, keep it simple, and above all, ensure it has no equal. Where the world doubted, the Soviets delivered. The Mi-26 was proof that imagination and ambition, backed by determination, could turn the impossible into reality. For more than four decades, the Mi-26 has flown into combat zones, disaster areas, raging wildfires, and the world's highest mountain ranges. It has carried soldiers, civilians, machines, and even other aircraft. It is more than a helicopter. It is a legend written across the skies of history. The Unrivaled Giant In the end, the Mi-26 is more than a flying machine. It is a story of human ambition, courage, and technological transcendence. From lifting troops into battle to rescuing disaster victims, from carrying heavy equipment to hoisting a Boeing 737, it has proven time and again that it is a machine without equal. The question remains, will humanity ever design a helicopter capable of surpassing it? Or will the Mi-26 forever remain the undisputed king of the skies?